What's up everybody and welcome to Lock Picking Central. Today we got some new locks for you guys, so decided to show them off. And uh, we will be picking each individual one of these in our own video. Uh, I think we should just start off with the locks, what they are, what kind of locks they are. Uh, we might, if we have the time, we will end up picking one of these. I'll just pick one at random and we'll pick it. We have my uh, EDC right here, everyday carry, this is pretty much everything I need in here. I do have the little card in my wallet that I showed in the previous video uh, that like in an emergency, if I forget this or leave it in my truck or something like that, then I do have some sort of tools. Uh, I would like to get one of these little things from Lock Picking Lawyer. Uh, they, they just flip out and it's like a Swiss Army knife, but for pickers. So that might be something we are getting in the future. Uh, there's one lock that isn't here in this array of new locks that we have. Uh, that should be coming soon and a new tool that uh, It'll be in its own video because I, I think that it warrants it So we do have a new tool that just came in I haven't had a chance to play with it But I figured it would it deserves its own video because it's that cool So let's move this out of the way because we've already seen that so we got this little tiny guy uh, I'm not gonna lie when I ordered this <laughs> I thought for sure it was gonna be bigger than this so it was a little disappointing, but it was also super cheap. Um, so it's just a, this interesting little like, oh, I, I, mean, I guess it'd be a luggage lock. Um, it's got numbers on both sides. So I guess it doesn't matter which way it's facing. So set the zero, zero, zero. Um, we are going to be using our little shim pick thing. I guess you can say it looks, looks more like a shim. Uh, so you basically go in between these code wheels and pull the bar on the back and you can tell which one's binding. So we'll be, end up resetting this to something I don't know. And uh, yeah, we'll try that in a future video that will deserve its own video. And I do have a bigger one of these. Uh, it's not this. It's actually one of those door locks that is coming. So once that comes in, we will do, uh, we might do two separate Sorry, might do two separate videos on these. I'm not sure. Might just do it in one. Uh, let's go with this thing. So this is just a cheap Chinese lock, um, but <laughs> it's got some weird pictures on the back. They're always interesting. Uh, don't use the wrong key. Don't break the lock. Is that what that is? What I don't know what that is. Don't smack the lock. Don't drill the lock. Or is this protection from from key different keys? from i have no idea what that is a protection from hitting with a crowbar and then drilling it i don't know uh let's take this out of the package it's just a cheap chinese package we'll do all these are going to be in their own video i just decided to let you guys know uh what these are so can anyone tell what these these keys are what, what this lock is just from the keys so this is a disc detainer core uh, so you might have an idea of what the tool is. So it just opens up. It's a 50 millimeter lock. Um, I think it'll be pretty interesting to use this lock. Then last but not least, we have another made in China uh, disc keyed padlock um, called uh, Dago's. <laughs> I don't know why it comes with four separate keys, but I mean, I guess I get it. Uh, so that's a fully functioning lock, just like the other ones. Um, I guess this is the one we have in our hand. Let's try to pick this. I do have another one of these that I have not uh, played around with yet. So I have not picked a lock like this, but it is just a standard pin tumbler lock. So let's go ahead and push this stuff out of the way. And uh, let's see. Let's bring out our snake rake. Let's try that bad boy. Uh, if we can't, then we will single pin pick it. Um, and then we also have this guy as well as let's get a, a nice wave rake here. Um, how big is this keyway? This is a little bit of paracentric keyway. So let's use top of the keyway tension with this guy. So this is a double bar. You had a little bit longer uh, into the keyway here, a little bit shorter, but this side actually has some teeth here, whereas this side is just flat. So let's see this guy, which way does it open? So you put the key in, you turn it to the right. Okay, so we are going to flip this this way. 
put this, uh, I guess, Z bar in here, top of the keyway tension, and apply tension to that side. Let's try this guy first. So this simulates the key. Uh, as you can tell, it kind of looks like a key. It's very similar to what a key, you know, would be. Uh, it's usually very high ridges compared to the keys. This is actually pretty high cut, uh, or pretty low cut rather, uh, most of them. So we'll see, maybe this will work, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, so we're just gonna put this in here and we're gonna go back and forth. That's how this works. I did, I think I did show in a previous video how these work. So we're gonna shove this in here. There we go. And then just twist back and forth, or go in and out. It's kind of like a zip attack. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Wow, okay, so that worked. Let's try this wave rake and see about that. So it is locked. Again, that was extremely fast. Let's try this wave rake. So this is gonna be the same kind of attack. You're gonna be going in and out pretty fast. Uh, you can also use these as a zip attack. So you put it in and then go rip, rip it right out. Uh, so let's try the same way we did that first. Oh my God, that was insanely fast. Let's do that again so we can show that that was not a fluke. That's, wow, wow. This is a very poorly made lock. Okay, let's reset those pins, that was bad. Oh my God, okay. So twice we open it, two separate tools, one with a rave wake, wow, wave rake, and one with like a keyed, I don't know what the actual key is for that, or what the actual name for this one is. Uh, let's try with the snake rake. This is actually my favorite tool. You can tell again, this is locked, completely locked. It does not open. Um, let's try with the snake rake here. The snake rake is more of a zip attack um, than in and out. Put a little bit too much tension on that. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is a very, very bad lock. Do not buy this lock. Okay, I, I'm no joke. It's the first time that I have tried this lock. Uh, that you're literally getting my legit reaction to it. That's why I'm laughing. I, this is not worth its weight. It, I mean, it, it's junk. I've never seen a lock open that easily, that quickly. Uh, I mean, honestly, I think you could probably stick something like you know, a piece of metal in there and just jam it in there and this thing would probably open. That's how bad it is. So don't buy the Dagos, D-A-Y-G-O-S. Don't buy those. Um, here's the little cover here. New, made in China, discus keyed padlock, three eighths inch shackle. Uh, there's the code. So if you find that on Amazon, you wanna, you wanna learn how to do stuff like this, by all means, this is an extremely easy lock to open, but if you're looking for some kind of protection for you know a disc lock, this is not it. So that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. So we already did this lock. Uh, the next couple of videos, we're gonna be doing these as well as the new tool for this. And um, we have one more um, padlock that's a lot probably a lot better than this to be honest this is another chinese made but they're so cheap and easy readily available so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button post a comment down below if you want to see something in particular you have some kind of lock you want to see as long as it's within reason uh i'm not going to buy you know a ten thousand dollar lock or anything like that uh but yeah as long as it's within reason something on amazon i can get not a problem i would be happy to show you guys how to break into it and if you can take it apart like some locks like this you can't actually take apart um, we might be able to, let me take a look in the bottom. Sometimes they have screw keys in the bottom. There we go. Um, no, I don't believe so. so this, that is completely empty in the bottom. So uh, this is not a lock you can take apart. Some padlocks, once you pull the shackle out, there's actually a screw right here that you can pull this whole plate off the bottom, but this is completely machined. There's no opening anywhere for it to come apart. So, uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? We always have new stuff on the channel. Uh, we do not do the same thing twice. So definitely hit that subscribe button, and I hope you have a excellent rest of your day. And uh, make sure you hit the notification bell too, guys, to let you know when this stuff gets posted. Bye!